That is AF Fury from Lavington and New South Wales off seven and a quarter. In the blue, GF Gregorio from Melton, seven and a half metres. In the yellow, WB Johncock from Somerset in Tasmania, seven and a half metres. And in the green, PC Young from Essendon, ten and three quarter metres. And we're set for a start in 1985, Straw Easter Gift. Except for John Cobb, all the other finals to strong finishes. So that will be, an in, it'll be interesting in the 100 metre mark. Here's Van Chapman, who is today starting his sixth gift final. He's been a race starter for nearly 20 years, Vern, and issuing his instructions. All of them, apart from Wayne John Cobb, who improved markedly on their, their time on Saturday. David Clark by four metres, Adrian Fury by one and a half metres, George Gregorio three, and Paul Young also by four. So they move up onto their blocks now for the running of the 1985 Asanda Stall Easter Gift. Number 120 metres, and the first prize out of a total stake of $27,500 is $15,500 plus trophies. Clark in red, Fury white, Gregorio in blue, John Cock in yellow, Young in green, and the odds on favourite is David Clark. Second in the betting at five to four is Paul Young. Big crowd, hushed at Central Park. Set and racing. Clark got away well on the inside. Young still leads them at this stage. John Cock running well in the middle. Gregorio in blue, and so is Fury going well. Young still in front of the 100 metre mark. I think he's going to win it. Paul Young goes down the line. Second in white was Fury, Clark ran in third place, John Cock was fourth and Gregorio was fifth, but a very, very easy win to Paul Young. Yes, it was a good win to, by Paul Young there. He's, he's won by probably one of the, the largest margins at store for a number of years now. You can, you can see here he, he hasn't wasted his handicap of ten and three quarters and he's made the rest of the field chase him all the way through. It's very hard to give a man that sort of distance and uh, he hasn't lost any form. You can see here he's He's won a terrific, what a terrific thing it is for his trainer, Fergie Speakman. He gives Fergie Speakman now the gift uh, training record of five wins and an ecstatic Paul Young. Just uh, 25, 26 years of age from Essendon of 10 and 3 quarter metres, the winner of the 1985 gift and 12.07, a pretty quick time of his mark. He's run about even time, perhaps just a tick outside, but the winner... Paul Young, and somewhere in the middle of that crowd, I think, is Rob Gaylard. Congratulations, Paul. Well, Friday night, here at the Drill Hall, everyone said Paul Young could win it. You've achieved your of it. Yeah, I certainly have. In fact, actually, when I walk in on Friday night, I couldn't believe when I qualified the one, because I, quite, I tried here during the week, and on that try, I had to find two yards, for said, and I was sort of, well, where am I in or not? And so, well, if you got, you find two yards, you're right in it so well. That's all we can do for you, Fergus. It's last year. But it's had to do it for him. Well, you're still all uh, ecstatic at the moment. In fact, all your followers are around behind you. You seem to have a little bit up your sleeve on what you've done in your, in your heats, and you see me? I knew I'd improve on Saturday, whatever I did Saturday, because I had a slight ha hamstring, which I did on last Tuesday week. And uh, I, I knew if I just, whatever I did on Tuesday this week, I'd improve as, we, as the week went on. And I'll. Well, on the blocks, Paul, the pressure that you had to face. Well, actually, I've never been so confident in doing anything in my life. I've played a few football grand finals and I made a few finals before. I made a final at Bendigo and I was just so uh, confident that I could do it that I'd never really had in my mind the fact I was going to get beat. Congratulations. Well, it's now looking at Paul Young. He's written himself into the record books at stall for another year.